Let's talk about the biological species concept. This is basically the understanding of what we classify a species as. And before I begin, I'm going to tell you this has flaws, but nothing's perfect in biology. The biological species concept states that a population whose members can mate with one another and produce fertile offspring. This is what we classify a species as. You can see this species is going to interbreed with each other and produce fertile offspring until this speciation event. Now there might be some breeding between these two groups initially, but at a certain point, they're not going to be able to produce fertile offspring. At this point, we call them two different species. But it's tough to tell when this speciation event really occurs because life in biology is difficult and every species is different. There are other flaws with this concept. How do we classify different species like bacteria or organisms that go through asexual reproduction? It looks easy here, but how do we know when a species of bacteria is a new species? There can be difficulties with classifying different species that are fossilized. How do we know if two organisms could interbreed and produce fertile offspring if they're dead? So there are sometimes are problems with classifying species that are fossilized. And lastly, when we have hybrids between species, for instance, a horse and a donkey that produces a mule. Now the mule isn't fertile, but there have been very rare cases where the mule is fertile. So where does this line exist? What I'm trying to get you to understand is that this concept isn't perfect, but it's a good starting point for discussion.